In the late 1950s, the National Airport was having problems with too many airplanes and larger airplanes. So the Civil Aeronautics Administration was tasked with finding a location for a new airport. Seven places were selected, and one was Burke. And in June of 1951, a government official came into Burke and posted a notice that announced that the government was condemning over 4,000 acres to be the new airport. Within six months, 35 families moved out of Burke. Others moved their own homes. With this threat of the airport, the Burke Civic Association was born. One thing the Burke residents did to oppose the airport was to contact anyone they knew of to contact their congressman to vote no. And it worked. Eisenhower decided, we're gonna build it in Chantilly. And it became Dulles Airport. This was the story of David against Goliath. And that was the representation of a small community being able to fight the giant. Eight years after the condemnation, to the day, a land auction was held in Burke. The land that people did not reclaim was now up for sale. And you have developers building homes and all sorts of communities around us. There actually had also been a fishing association saying, we need a lake. And where it was planned to be an airport became Burke Lake Park. Burke Lake Park is one of the crown jewels of the Fairfax County Park Authority Park System. It's full of amenities, including carousels, camping, picnicking, frisbee, disc golf, you name it. Our two main attractions in the park would one be fishing, and the lake is stocked by the state. It's actually open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for fishing. One of our biggest recreational attractions outside of fishing would be our miniature train, which will hold up to 55 people, so parents and children love to come out, ride the train. The hiking trails around Burke Lake are numerous. The number one trail we have we call the Lake Trail, and that is almost five miles long. While Burke Lake Park is a regional draw, the community members of Burke really take the most advantage of it. It really is the most incredible backyard park someone could ever have. Thanks for watching If You Lived Here. Would you buy the house we just saw? Let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to explore more homes and discover more neighborhoods across the DMV.